this story would begin a little more than half a year after the Universal Tournament. Goku would be training on the planet of Beerus, accompanied by the tutelage of Whis. Goku would carry a powerful Kamehame to attack his master, but suddenly, a gigantic energy appears. It was nothing more and nothing less than the same Daishinken, saying that informs the king Zenosama requested the presence of Son Goku. Goku confused would ask for the reason, to what Daishinken responds that it was a delicate matter to be more specific that multiple trips of the time to convenience. To what Goku would repeat, time travel? Daishinken would explain, the inhabitants of Universe 7 have broken the universal rules by traveling through time at convenience without any permission was not only one or two, were many times that the Earthlings of Universe 7 do this practice. Moreover, they not only traveled through time, but also manipulated it. Goku would have an idea what the priest was referring to as this situation of time travel, begin since trunks from the future travel to the present to save the planet from the Frieza. Mr. Goku, please accompany me to Zenosama's palace where you will be informed with more details. But first, let me tell you that your actions and words will determine whether the planet Earth as you know it continues to exist or ceases to exist. Goku would put a more serious face. The Saiyan agrees to accompany Daishinken, these disappear. Whis would put a face of disappointment and say, and that Mr. Beerus warned them multiple times, suddenly you hear big explosions. Beerus yawning says, oh, those five months of nap were nothing. Finally, wake up. I have to inform you of something that just happened. Goku arrives at the palace next to Daishinken. The two Zenosamas would shout Goku's name cheerfully. Goku would greet very cheerfully. Zenosama says, Goku, as you're my friend, I wanted you to hear my decision. To which a confused Goku would ask, what is it about? The other Zenosama speaks, we have decided to exterminate planet Earth along with all its inhabitants. Goku nervously says, but why? Zenosama explains, the constant violations by time travel to convenience are being a problem. But why do you say that Zenosama? Thanks to time travel, I was able to find you a good friend. The two Zenosamas look at each other and at the same time say, You're right! Daishinken says, That's right, I thank you again for that. That's the reason why they were not punished. However, in this last month alone, eight new time travels from planet Earth have been recorded and as a consequence, it has left many open gaps in space-time. Goku repeats, Gaps? To which Daishinken would explain with a more serious tone. Yes, these gaps are connected to Universe 7 with somewhere else in the multiverse. This could cause a universal catastrophe. Daishinken proceeds to open a holographic map showing multiple universes of other multiverses being affected among them, Jujutsu Kaisen. Goku asks Zenosama as a favor not to wipe out planet Earth and offers to fix the problems that have been caused. Zenosama would think about it for a few seconds and then accedes to Goku's request. Zenosama says, As we are friends, I'll give you the opportunity to fix this mistake. But let me warn you that the more time passes, the more breaches could disperse throughout the Universe 7 and would no longer only solve the problem by eliminating the planet where these anomalies come from, but would also have to eliminate the entire universe. Daishinken would explain to Goku that he would have to eliminate the new eight breaches scattered throughout the multiverse, and if he succeeds, he will be able to return to his universe. Daishinken would explain a little more about the universal problems that could occur if nothing is done immediately. Goku would only understand that he would have to destroy the eight breaches to keep his planet safe. Daishinken opens a portal. Daishinken says, and this world is the first gap. Goku walks towards the portal, but before entering, Daishinken says some last words. Mr. Goku, if you were to die in any of these worlds, let me tell you that everyone will forget the memories they have with you. Your existence will disappear completely as if you were never born. Goku looks with a worried face to Daishinken. The Saiyan looks at the portal saying, Very well, I will go. Goku enters the portal, and the Saiyan arrives at the world of Jujutsu Kaisen. Goku would be in Tokyo near the Jujutsu school and facing Yuji Itadori and Satoru Gojo. Who are you? On the other hand, Wiz was informed with the greatest detail of all the facts by Daishinken. After Wiz passed the information to the god, these decide to go immediately to planet Earth, to be more exact, to the Capsule Corporation. Vegeta is the first to see them. But if it is Wiz and Beerus, 
Beerus says, Vegeta, I need to see Bulma. It's urgent, so hurry up. Vegeta would ask why they wanted to see Bulma. Beerus, with a serious face and somewhat angry, would say, Obey! Bring Bulma immediately. Vegeta would obey, remaining intrigued. Bulma appears. Bulma says, Ah, but if it's Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis, is something wrong? Vegeta would feel a threatening aura. Whis would warn Bulma to watch her words and answer with all sincerity. Bulma would get nervous. Beerus asks, are you the human who has been traveling through time constantly? Bulma would get very nervous and try to deflect the conversation. Beerus seriously says, Answer! Vegeta would feel Beerus' threatening key. Vegeta shouts, Bulma! Answer Mr. Beerus' question! Bulma admits to having traveled in time for several times this last month. After that, Bulma would make many complaints, even blaming the god for stupid things, and at the end, she offers him a lot of food as an apology. Beerus approaches Bulma and slaps her, gently slapping her face aside. Vegeta is shocked to see such a scene being on show. Whis warns Vegeta to think twice before taking any action. Bulma gets angry and lashes out at the god. Beerus raises his hand, producing Hikai energy aiming at Bulma's face. Vegeta shouts, What do you plan to do, Beerus? I've already endured many times your stupidities. Who do you think you are to disobey me or raise your voice to me? Remember that I'm the god of destruction of this universe. Vegeta would ask nervously what was happening and why all this so sudden. Whis would explain, Mr. Vegeta, remember that you were warned several times by Mr. Beerus and me about time travel? However, you all decided to ignore us and now because of Miss Bulma, this planet or rather the entire universe is in danger. Vegeta is surprised as well as Bulma. Wes asks, it was eight times that you used that time machine, or am I wrong? Where did you go? Bulma would answer nervously, I was just building a machine that can travel anywhere in the world in time. The times I traveled in it were just tests to perfect my creation. But Bulma, how could you do that after we were warned how dangerous it is to use time travel? I know and I'm sorry, but I'm a scientist. Making a machine like that could be a turning point for all of humanity. Wes continues explaining, as I was saying, because of those test trips that Mrs. Bulma mentioned, eight rifts have been created in space-time that Son Goku is now trying to destroy to save this planet. Kakarot! My father was the one who discovered all this! I admit that I am ashamed that I did not realize it before. He himself was the one who warned me that these gaps are connected to Universe 7 with some other place in the multiverse, and this could cause a universal catastrophe. The fastest way to fix it was to destroy this planet with all its inhabitants so that the gaps would disappear since the travels come from here. Are very lucky that the great King Zenosama holds Goku in high esteem and decided to inform him of the situation before making a decision. But the truth is that every second counts from now on since the breaches could disperse all over the universe and Zenosama will be forced to destroy the whole universe. Vegeta could not believe what he was hearing. Beerus says, your disobedience and irresponsibility, you'll have to pay for it with your death and the destruction of this planet. Bulma would tremble with fear. Vegeta stands in front of Bulma. Even if Bulma is responsible, I won't let you hurt her. Beerus with a straight face answers, Then Vegeta, you will be the one to take the punishment? Remember that you are still an insignificant being in front of me. Wes explains, if Universe 7 disappears, Mr. Beerus also disappears, that's why he's so angry. Beerus lowers his hand. Beerus rises to the sky, completely destroying the Capsule Corporation. Let this be the last time idiots like you disrespect me like this. Ah, no matter what I do, it won't change anything. It would cost me the slightest effort to destroy this planet with all of you. But this is a test that Zenosama put Son Goku through, so I won't interfere. Everything is in Goku's hands again. Bulma, if Goku fails, consider yourself the human who sacrificed all the lives of Universe 7 for a stupid machine. Bulma would be on her knees, Bulma says in tears. I never thought to cause all this, Vegeta asks. Tell me what could happen if the breaches are not closed. As I said before, the gaps are connected to other worlds very different from ours outside of our multiverse. If nothing is done, beings from another multiverse would easily enter ours, beings with totally unknown powers as well as their intentions and other words. We could be heading for a multiversal war, that is why if one or all 12 universes must be eliminated, Senosama would not hesitate. Beerus says, Wes, let's look for the breaches. 
Will you look for it? That's right, the eight breaches should still be on this scattered planet even if we can't destroy them. From here we can work on trying to make them not disperse so quickly off planet buying time. Are you a sorcerer? Gojo would say he is not, as he had never seen him in his life. Goku introduces himself as he normally would to anyone. I come from another universe from a different dimension than this one. Gojo smiles. This sounds interesting. I'm Satoru Gojo and he is Yoji Adori. It seems we have a shared problem. Gojo in his mind would think how strange the energy of the guy in front of him was. Gojo, you seem to be strong. Would you like to show me your strength by fighting me a little bit? Gojo had been interested in Goku's weirdness.